Hey, what's up insiders? This is Pat and uh, I got something a little bit different that I'm going to do today. I'm going to do a versus and what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare two different lures and I've got the Slam Shady Bomber and I've also got the Gold Digger Bomber. Uh, they're both uh, rigged on the same exact hook, the Haas Helix uh, 4 aught and the 1 8 ounce and I both got them on uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. So uh, trying to keep everything exactly the same. 10 pound braid is the main line. But what I'm trying to do out of this is I'm trying to determine what's more important is it more important to match the water the water color and the water clarity you know we talk about the different colors and when to use them uh, and and you know there's some specific things this water right here i would definitely say is um, more geared towards what I would throw a gold digger. I'm uh, definitely gold digger water. Uh, it's off colored. It's got some sediment in it. Uh, it's definitely uh, definitely not what I would consider clear water. But the issue that we have is uh, right now we're in the middle of a huge shrimp run. There's just a ton of shrimp in there and it's white shrimp. Uh, so it's got that translucent, that silver whitish color. And that's where I think that the Slam Shady color is going to shine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these same blue Lures. I'm going to do three casts with one lure, three casts with another lure, and we're just going to keep count of how many fish actually uh, that I hook. Now, I might not land every single one of them, but we're, we're going to count hook sets because the fish went for the lure. Uh, so we're going to keep doing that. Uh, hopefully by the end of this, I'll have a good idea that there will be some differences, or maybe we'll find out uh, that it really doesn't matter, that it's not that important. But a nice, cool little experiment that we're going to do, and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. These birds are kind of giving it away. I'm actually uh, it's getting ready to throw up here in this cove. Uh, matter of fact, this is my first cove. Oh, I just spooked off a red there. But uh, right here in the corner where the other side of that egret is, there is just a ton of redfish that keep on getting uh, uh, spooked off. So here's my first cast. This one is... Uh, actually, I didn't pay attention to what this one was. I'm going to have to see what it is uh, when I throw it in, when I uh, reel it back in. Uh, but we're... Uh, this is cast number one. And this one's the gold digger. Okay. Probably should have been paying attention to that, but okay. No harm, no foul. Uh, I'm throwing it out here because I just saw some, uh, some fish chasing bait. And I'm going to work my way over there because there's just a ton of redfish on the other side of that white egret uh, that's pushing bait there. So this is uh, number two. I'm probably going to have to pull up my rudder. Because it just hit bottom and I'm barely been able to flutter kick and I don't want to spook these fish off. So there we go. Try to be as stealth as possible. <laughs> There's actually a redfish that's following that egret as he walks. That's funny. Okay, cast number three. It is hard with all these birds. Yeah, there's a redfish belly crawling right there. I better get over there. Okay, so that's cast number three. And then let's rotate this out. That was two casts. You've got to be kidding me. That was two. He went for it. And what happened? Yeah, looks like uh, I think I might have nicked my line on an oyster uh, earlier. I got a clean cut right there. So let me go ahead and retie this leader and I'm going to get started. Uh, just bumped off a fish right there. Uh, I hate doing this, but uh, don't have much of a choice. This is the. Uh, First one on the gold digger. I've been having pretty much all the bites in the action on the uh, on the slam shady. So one here. Ooh. Yeah, these fish are just all uh, chasing all these uh, these shrimp that are uh, flushed out in here, and it's pretty crazy. It's it's hard. I would love to. I'd love to throw a topwater in here if I had the chance, if I wasn't doing this experiment. But the problem that we're having is we're getting these um, we're getting these birds that are coming in, and what they're doing is they're uh, come here, come here, buddy. Is uh, when these uh, when these redfish are chasing the uh, the shrimp up to the surface, uh, then 
uh, the shrimp are kind of skating along the surface and these birds are coming down so you got the redfish chasing the shrimp from the top and you got the birds facing you got the redfish uh, chasing the shrimp from the uh, from the bottom and then you've got the uh, birds chasing them from the top but uh, nice little uh, nice little male he's croaking there we go nice little red there got that one on the gold digger I'm gonna go ahead and let him go and then we're gonna continue on we got some weather up here but I don't think it's really bad so I think we're gonna be in good shape um, looked like it was breaking up on the radar so hopefully that'll uh, continue to happen Let's see. there we go let's go ahead and get him back in the water Okay, that just so happens to be cast number three on the gold digger, so I'm going to switch out to the Slam Shady, and we'll keep on going. I got a belly crawler right here. So that's two. I went ahead and switched out my, uh, my lure right as he was... Uh, it was time for me to switch out right as he was coming towards me, and I got a little bit close, so that was two cast. I mean, he's right, right here. He's looking for any signs of movement or anything. I don't know if he went past me or if he turned around and went back the other way. He started on the other side. There's a, um, there's a sandbar that comes out, and uh, it comes off this island, and it comes straight across, and there's a little trough right there. Um, tide's coming in a little bit, so the water's up, but earlier what they were doing was they were just cruising right along the top of the sandbar and, uh, ambushing bait. So I came back here and, uh, at last I let the uh, area settle down, there's a crab boat that came in here, kind of blew the area out. He was here for quite some time, um, but I let it settle down, come back, the fish kind of, uh, settled back into place, um, they're, they're moving around, um. But yeah, yeah, there was definitely, uh, definitely a lot of pushes here this morning. I'm gonna see if I can get uh, the, what the uh, what's happening here. So the, these redfish, uh, and I've seen the flounder. There we go. So these redfish and these flounder are. Um, oh, that was him too. There you go. So the redfish and these flounder are actually chasing these shrimp, and what's happening is they are uh, pushing the shrimp up to the surface. And uh, these uh, these birds are um, so you got the redfish that are pushing the shrimp up. The shrimp are dancing across the surface, and then you got the birds that are diving down on top of them. So it, it makes it a little bit difficult to uh, to cast to them because what's happening is as soon as you see the commotion, you um, you're getting the birds that are coming in too. So you can't really cast. They kind of cover the area really well. So definitely uh, adds a degree of difficulty. But uh, if you time it right, you can beat the birds. That's what I'm going to do, kind of, I'm not really going to, you know, hammer the area, you know, I'm going to let it settle down a little bit, and uh, if you let it settle, it seems like uh, there's more activity, uh, more feeding activity, but they're definitely around. Um, I think maybe the power prawn is going to be the trick here, but, um, but you know, I'm doing this uh, experiment with, uh, with these two uh, different um, bombers, so I'm going to stick with that. Uh, but there you go, right over there. See the birds coming down. You might see the uh, you might see the uh, the fish push the shrimp up again. So at this time, I decided to switch over to a five cast per lure retrieve instead of the three that I was doing. I was getting a lot of uh, spooking fish because there was some a little bit of noise whenever I'd switch these rods out. So I decided to switch over to five cast. Now, right before I got to this creek mouth, I did get a hit on the slam shady, but I noticed there was some fish feeding on the outside of this creek mouth so I moved up. It was time to switch over to the gold digger so I started my five casts with a gold digger. Now during each one of these casts I didn't get a bite on any one of them with a gold digger but as soon as I switched over to that slam shady and I put it in the same exact spot check out what happened. There's one.
There we go. So I drug that gold digger by there uh, three times probably, and there was nothing. I'd get that slam shady and uh, first cast up in there, he uh, he nailed it. I'm, I'm starting to think that today at least that slam shady is uh, what they're dialed into. And I think it's that bait. Um, you know, like, like we had said in this whole uh, experiment here, ooh, 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 that, um, you know, is, is it matching the water that's going to be more important or matching the bait? And uh, I think right now it's definitely going to be the bait. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Bonk your head and give yourself a headache. There we go. Get this. There we go. And then you go check that out. Get all of this off of you. There we go. There. In two spots. Two spots. There we go. That was cool. Nice fish. So maybe we're uh, getting a little bit of a pattern here. So we're going to keep uh, pushing on and, and see what we come up with and uh, see if that holds true. That was uh, that was pretty interesting. Uh, you know, definitely a case in point. I threw that gold digger, you know, three times right there where he was. And the first cast with that Slam Shady, uh, he was all over it. So I think... Uh, I think that uh, shrimp pattern being um, or this uh, color uh, is uh, closer mimicking what that shrimp is, and that's what they're dialed in on. Uh, but that's cool. Let's uh, let's keep going with this. Okay, so just around the corner, the same exact thing happened to me where I went over there, I saw some feeding activity, I threw the gold digger five times in the same exact area, I switched over to the Slam Shady, and sure enough, on the very first cast, I was able to catch up on one of these redfish, and it became apparent to me that they really were dialed in on the Slam Shady color and not necessarily that gold digger color because of the shrimp. Okay, there's a red that's crushing bait right here about uh 15 20 yards in front of me and what i'm going to do is i'm going to throw this gold digger um i'm actually at my last cast on the gold digger but i'm going to give it a couple of casts and then i'm going to switch over to the slam shady and see if uh we have some uh see if we uh we can get them on uh on either one of these colors if one's uh better for better than the other Let's see him show his face again. Ooh, I hit him. I don't think this is our red. I think this is a flounder. That's our red. Come on, buddy. I know you're about done. You're about done. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that was the gold digger. And both times I've caught fish on the gold digger. I will say it was um, to uh, fish that were chasing bait. I've actually seen them chasing bait. Um, so uh, so I don't know if that's any indication that I, if I could have caught it on the Slam Shady or if I had to have the Gold Digger, uh, whatever it was. But uh, either one, uh, they uh, they definitely like the uh, they definitely like the Gold Digger on that one. So let me go ahead and uh, get him on in. Let's go right here. Not the biggest fish in the world. There we go. 
Well, everybody, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and call it for the day, and I think the clear winner today was the Slam Shady. The final score was uh, three for the Slam Shady, two for the Gold Digger, and I'm going to go ahead and count that one that the line broke on because the lure did its job and it got the strike, so I, that's why I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, three for the Slam Shady. Now, I know the score doesn't seem to be that uh, you know much of a difference between one over the other, but... The reason why I say the Slam Shady was the clear winner was because two of those fish that I caught on the Slam Shady was literally in the exact same spot that I casted the Gold Digger to three or four different times, and I casted first cast with the Slam Shady. I was able to hook up with them, and uh, to me, that's a that's a really big tell. So I'm going to say Slam Shady on this one. Now, is that a definitive answer if the Slam Shady is uh, better in this situation than others? No, this is just one day. It doesn't really, you know, uh, make any fun final uh, conclusions on, on which one you would use, but it does give me a little bit of something to think about whenever I'm out on the water. It's not just about what the water looks like, it's also about what does that bait look like and what are the fish feeding on. So in this situation, the reason why I think the Slam Shady was the winner in this one was what they what they actually wanted was because of the shrimp. The shrimp that's uh, flushed into the river out of these marshes this time of year, uh, it's a white in color, they're really keyed in on it, and I think that's really what they uh, what they dialed in. If the shrimp wasn't there, then uh, maybe, the, maybe the gold digger, maybe the gold digger might have been better, but um, you know, only another experiment like this will actually be able to tell if there is a difference. But to me, what I get out of this is don't necessarily look at just the water quality. If you're throwing, you know, a particular shade of color, if you're throwing a dark lure and you're not really getting any bites, don't be afraid to switch it out to a lighter color, even though the water says that you should, you know, be throwing a darker color because you never know what can happen. These fish could just be uh, keyed in on something totally different. 